Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Lashkard. Now I hope you guys are fine and are safe. So guys, a lot of you tend to ask me, what do I do when I have a mealybug bug infestation? Now, to be honest, I don't do much. I don't use any kind of spray or fungicide. I don't use neem oil. I don't use anything that is liquid on my succulents. What I tend to do is I just brush it off or I tend to use some cinnamon powder, let them sit in cinnamon powder for some time and then again brush it off. Now this is all what I have been doing. Now I know you might say that you have tried this but the mealy bugs still tend to come back. Now guys even if you are going to use chemicals over the period of time when the chemicals start to lose the power, the mealy bugs will come back again but using chemicals is going to be dangerous for your succulent and for the surrounding. Now what I would suggest is you need to compromise with mealy bugs because they are going to be there in your garden as long as you have plants. There is nothing that you can do which will eradicate them permanently so what I usually tend to do is I tend to sprinkle some cinnamon powder on the succulent and then after 30 to 40 minutes I brush them off I do it for a couple of times until I tend to see that the mealybugs are no longer present on the succulent probably there might be some eggs that might still be present on it but that's absolutely fine. If you tend to see them again, you can again brush them off. But I do not use any kind of chemicals on my succulents. And this is how I have been working with mealybugs. Now, as you can see over here, these are all the mealybugs that I was able to collect while brushing it off. I brushed off majority of the mealybugs. Probably there might be even some eggs in it. Now guys, whenever you're doing this, I would always suggest you to do it in a place where there is not much breeze or there is not much strong wind. Otherwise, it's going to fly everywhere. Apart from that, please do not conduct this kind of a process wherein if you have a lot of succulents in your vicinity, so you'll have to probably take your succulent that is infested with mealybugs, take it away from your garden and then brush it off. Now these were my cuttings that were uh, infected with these mealybugs, so it was much easier. But even if I have my succulents that are potted and they have got infested with mealybugs, I again do the same process. I put some cinnamon powder, try to loosen them up and then brush them out. You will have to do this couple of times till you tend to see that it's all clear. So get over here, I have uh, done the brushing off. Now the succulent is clear of mealybugs, but I will still add some cinnamon powder and keep it aside for at least 30 to 40 minutes. And after that, I'll brush off the cinnamon powder once again. I do this for almost all of my succulents that are infested with mealybugs. You can see even this guy has some mealybugs. Uh, this is an early stage of infestation because the mealybugs are not a lot in number. So it's always better to be vigilant whenever you're keeping succulents. Now here, as you can see, the succulents were not very visible because they were hiding beneath the leaves. But over the period of time, if this would have gone unnoticed, definitely this small little infestation would have increased so at times it can be a little difficult to notice these guys but just try to make sure that you do a routine check every now and then as you can see this can be slightly difficult but always remember be very gentle with the brush you do not need to put too much of pressure otherwise you might end up breaking the leaves but in case if you have too much of infestation on one particular leaf then you can just separate or pluck that leaf out Treat it completely and then you can put it out for propagation. Over here as you can see as I'm trying to brush it off you can see the amount of mealybugs that are just falling down. So in this way you can brush them off very gently and try to get rid of them. Try to get in between those leaves in those tight spots wherein they tend to hide and you can try and clear it out. In case if you feel that the mealybugs are slightly difficult to get rid then you can sprinkle some cinnamon powder that will definitely loosen them up and then immediately start brushing them off. So I have completely done with cleaning and brushing off uh, as much as mealybugs I could. Again, I'm going to do the same thing. I will uh, sprinkle some more cinnamon powder on this uh, particular cutting and I'm going to let it uh, sit aside for at least 30 to 40 minutes after sprinkling some cinnamon powder and once around 30 to 40 minutes have passed I will again uh, brush it off 
and then after this guys you have to again be very careful at least keep monitoring them for at least a week or so to check if there is any more infestation because the next infestation after this is going to be slightly weaker because we have tried and brushed off as much as we could apart from that we have also put a lot of cinnamon powder cinnamon powder basically tends to dry their outer layer which tends to protect them so in most cases the newborns will not be very strong they are going to be very weak but it's always better to do a routine check to check if they are coming back or no now this is the same thing that's also going to happen if you're going to use chemicals on your succulents one is that you are going to harm your succulent there are going to be burns on the succulent apart from that there is no guarantee that the mealybugs will not come back they also tend to come back even after putting any kind of chemicals a lot of people tend to use neem oil now guys neem oil can be quite dangerous for your succulents because neem oil is basically a base of oil and that tends to create a coating on the leaves which can be quite dangerous for your succulents because it tends to block the pores on the leaves and it can be very difficult for succulents to breathe or to prepare their food so be very careful do not use any oil based uh, kind of a chemical a spray on your succulents most of the fungicides that we have do contain a amount of oil so i usually tend to avoid all of these so now guys i have completely uh, cleared off almost all of the mealy bugs i couldn't see any more when i was checking them out i did a thorough check i also checked if there is anything beneath the leaves but everything looks clean right now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to collect all of these guys together and i'm going to show you what you can do next now this is completely up to you you can try any method you can even clean and uh, brush off your succulents and uh, you can keep a bowl of uh, water and vinegar so that the mealy bugs can directly fall into the vinegar solution i did not have it right now i had very little vinegar so i thought that i'll just put it on a piece of cotton and just uh, you know clean the mealy bugs with this so this is just plain white vinegar which we have it in our kitchens this is the same thing that i'm going to be using so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to completely soak the cotton with white vinegar and then just wipe off the uh, mealy bugs that are collected on the table because white vinegar is very strong and it immediately tends to dissolve uh, the covers or the protective waxy layer that these mealy bugs have the white vinegar will completely destroy that waxy coating that these mealy bugs have so guys that's it for today i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep propagating